Hi guys, I just want to make this quick video concerning the prophecy time frames found in the Bible concerning the end of the age. Uh, so the, I'll go from the top, the first timeline we'd look at would be the 2300 days where the temple would be dirty in God's eyes. And so we take a reference point from Passover time, because if we think the two witnesses are going to get killed in Jerusalem like Jesus was, then 45 days after the Passover is when the Armageddon happens. So 45 days after Passover, around May time, we can go back 2,300 days, which is six years and three and a half months. And you would come to um, December if you went from Passover, but plus 45 days, equaling Daniel's prophecy, Daniel 12, you come to February. And the next prophecy we want to look at is the seven-year agreement. Now, obviously, the seven-year agreement will come before this six year and three and a half month prophecy of the temple being dirty but it's just a bit easier to explain so before that the, there's going to be a seven year agreement and it happens just before the sixth seal and the throne of god and the barrel hits all right they'll say peace and safety and then sudden destruction comes upon them okay and then it says among the seven years agreement um they shall cause the daily sacrifice in the newly built temple to cease and the oblation okay but this time this seven years may be shortened as jesus says the time will be shortened for the sake of the elect so here you have the seals seal one through to five and then the seven year agreement begins okay just before the first passing of the throne hits at seal six they have the 144,000 are sealed, the great multitude are caught up to the throne of God and saved. Alright, so then another timeline is trumpet number 5, where Yellowstone Volcano, the bottomless pit is opened and the sky is darkened and locusts come out having stings of scorpions and they sting the people who are not the 144,000 for 5 months. Okay, 5 months. Now interesting enough, in the barrels, the throne of God's ancient orbit path that the people had um, documented was five months interesting because it could well be that this runs for five months and then when he flies back with his throne to pass pass through past the earth again after going around the sun trumpet number six goes and that's nuclear war 200 million man army russia china north korea and iran and they destroy one third of mankind the population and this goes on for 13 months they were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year so 13 months plus five is 1.5 years for these two trumpets here so this is what i mean this then between trumpet number six and trumpet number seven happened we have the two witnesses so this state this bulk of events here could happen at any time this is why the arrows here are movable uh, this is kind of unknown when the, these things will take place and and then we have the last three and a half year events okay and it seems that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away for 1290 days until our reference of passover on this year this year here so that and then we have the uh, 1,335 days who of he who waits and comes is here. So 45 days after the second passing and the end of the 1,290 days of the daily sacrifice being taken away. 45 days later, he who waits and comes, Jesus Christ, will return at Armageddon at 1,335 days. That's why this is in May. Okay. So then we have the two witnesses who come for who come for 1260 days which is three and a half years and this will actually complete um, when they ascend to the throne of God here you can see the second passing of the throne happens at the two witnesses finishing their three and a half years because they are killed 
They resurrect from the dead after three and a half years. They ascend into heaven on a cloud like Jesus did. And they are raptured. And also the great um, the great harvest happens at the same time. Because the seventh angel will sound at this time. So the great harvest happens. The last trump rapture happens. Uh, the 144,000 are also caught up to the throne during this first passing. And reference point being Passover. Okay. And that will complete the seven trumpet judgments there. And then also at that time, we're going to have Jerusalem will be destroyed, trodden underfoot for 42 months, which is three and a half years. The woman will flee into the Israel, will flee into the wilderness to a place where she's nourished for 1,260 days from the face of the serpent, Obama, and from the um, abomination of desolation being being set up in the temple and the Antichrist, they'll hide in the wilderness for 1,260 days, which is three and a half years. And then the Antichrist will sit, claiming to be God, for 42 months, until he reaches his end, when Jesus Christ comes down at Armageddon, reference point being May, um, and then Israel could return, and that is the end of that. And then the temple can only be cleaned after them 2,300 days when Jesus returns at Armageddon, as per my Armageddon dream, where... He lifted up his hands and the smouldering on the earth stopped and all the green grass come up um, from underneath. So I've been past the prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. Hope you enjoyed this video on um, timelines concerning the tribulation time. God bless you all. Amen.